Hi, my name is Heaven Rowell, and today I'm going to be sharing you guys my favorite poem project, which is a poem called Atlantis by me. And I'm looking down because I'm reading it off my iPad. So yeah, Atlantis by Heaven Rowell. A million words to say with no way to start. The night scares daylight away, no fix to a broken heart. Take me to that river where no light shines. Let only my reflection shimmer and toss it like a dime. I will dive in deep and swim as far as it goes. A world full of secrets and I will cower as I roam because the deeper I swim is where I find home. So I wrote Atlantis about a year ago um, after my house burnt down. Um, I was going through a lot as one could probably imagine and one of the biggest feelings I was struggling with was I think finding a place of belonging. Um, I know for home um, as far as like what home is is different to a lot of different people like for some people it's like a person some people it's a place um, and I honestly didn't realize how much my childhood home meant to me until I had lost it and after I did I kind of felt like there was no place that I truly belonged and that was um, something that I was having trouble communicating to those around me and I just kind of had I had so much to say, but I didn't know how to say it. And so poetry is kind of where I vented at. Poetry has always came natural to me. Um, I think I'm a pretty articulate person. I'm pretty good at expressing how I feel. But there's moments where I feel things and I just don't know how to say them. Or I don't know how to communicate them, but I'm able to communicate those things perfectly through poetry. So that's something I always used as an outlet. I kind of lost touch with my poetic side during the time that I had my house fire, but this was one of the first poems I actually written in a very long time. It was after I lost my house and it kind of just helped me. It gave me an outlet and it gave me a way to kind of communicate to the people around me and the people that I love how I was feeling. And it also kind of helped me cope in a way. And I'll explain a little bit about that more later. So if you couldn't tell, the main theme of this poem was about belonging and self-discovery. The reason I named this poem Atlantis was because, if you don't know what Atlantis is, it's basically like an underground like city buried deep underneath the ocean, and it's commonly known in mythology, so it was not real, though some may beg to differ. I kind of named the poem Atlantis because that's kind of how I felt about my new home. I knew, I didn't really know where it was going to be, and I didn't even know if I was going to find another one that was kind of like the one I had before. So it kind of felt like it was fake, like Atlantis. So that's why I had named it Atlantis. And that's kind of the theme I used for the rest of the poem was like kind of like an underwater theme. Um, in this poem, I put a ton of analogies as a way to kind of communicate um, what I'm talking about. And some of the analogies that I put in this poem was like night, um, the night kind of, the night scared darkness away. That was kind of like, the night represented like all my dark emotions like depression, anxiety, um, confusion, sadness, all those things, Oof. all those things that I was feeling. And um, the, the daylight was all my joy and happiness and peace of mind just kind of went away after um, I lost my house. Take me to that river where no light shines. The river was the world. Um, obviously, I the the world shining right now but at the time it felt like there was no happiness or light in my world at the moment and so take me to that river where no light shines i was basically it was like me trying to come to face with what reality was where it's like okay i'm going through a hard time in my life and things aren't the best situation but i still have to live like the world still goes on and let only my reflection shimmer and toss it like a dime so my reflection one was talking about my reflection like my actual reflection and two my reflection was kind of like the state of um the state of who I was at the moment so it was like it wasn't like my worst self or my best self it was literally where I was at the time that I was the deeper I swim is where I'll find home to me that was basically saying home was like self-actualization which if you don't know what that is is basically when one reaches their full potential of like who they are who they are meant to be and to me that kind of is what i decided i was going to make into my home my home wasn't i was gonna i wasn't gonna let my home be a place or another person but i was gonna let it be my full potential and um 
yeah so um the deeper i swim is where i so at this point my mic cuts out but all i was basically saying was that the deeper i swim is where i'll find home is that the more i travel the world and get out there and explore that i'll be able to grow and become the person that i know god wanted me to be and to basically reach that full actualization which would be my home and yeah and at this point i had reread the poem which i'll do now atlantis a million words to say with no way to start the night scares daylight away no fix to a broken heart take me to that river where no light shines and let only my reflection shimmer and toss it like a dime i will dive in deep and swim as far as it goes a world full of secrets and i will cower as i roam because the deeper i swim is where I'll find home. Hi, I'm doing the same. Do it, Ari. Okay. Am I doing it, Heather? You have to do it at the same time. Will you FaceTime me? Do it. Take me off a damn snap. Okay, so look at it. Okay, so look at it. You notice anything different? No. Uh, what are you doing? Sorry. What are you doing? And you know what also can go? You know what also can? What? What? You're about to see. Okay, I'm leaving you by yourself, girl. Ow.